Hello, you beautiful nerds. Welcome to the Drunk Banthas Podcast, where we talk about sci-fi, fantasy, horror, and all of the popular art that we love. Also, all of it. we do it drunk. I'm joined, as always, by my brother, Bill. How you doing? I'm doing quite well. I'm doing quite well. <laughs> how how are, are you? Oh, new trend. <laughs> ask you, how are you doing? <laughs> I am also doing lovely. Uh, I'm very excited to talk about these two weirdly uh, seasonal episodes that are happening way earlier than the season and also kind of out of order. Tis <laughs> not the season to be doing holiday TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today we are talking about Rick and Morty, uh, the last two episodes. Uh, we are going to be talking about Bethic Twinstinct first. Uh, this was an interesting one. Uh, <laughs> a lot of crazy uh, stuff going on. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. What uh, are you drinking on? A tequila. Uh, okay. Just straight? It's, qu- it's quite a bit of it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's quite a bit. Yo, uh, talk about the first one. The Thanksgiving episode was basically just like, I mean, it started out weird. It starts out with Rick running into the <laughs> into the glass sliding door as a turkey, <laughs> and then turning back into himself and being butt naked. Yeah. Like, like okay, this is gonna be strange <laughs> right off the top. Like, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna get weird. <laughs> yeah, it was our. It, it started off very, very weird. Like, I had to restart it a couple times because I was like, wait, did I miss something? Is this really where it starts? Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, it was very, very, very weird. Um, Space Beth, Space Beth comes down to Earth to hang out with the family for Thanksgiving. And it turns out that Space Beth and Earth Beth, I guess we're calling her, uh, have a bond because, of course, they're the same person. And, uh, they end up having a, starting a romantic relationship. And that As one of- does with themselves when they're together with themselves for too long. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was like it was an interesting. I mean, look, I think it's basically. <laughs> I think this episode was basically saying if you're with yourself too long, you'll play with yourself. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess that is like a that is like a. I guess that is one way you could look at it for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, 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 it, like I think like Beth saying like. Is this like the most fucked up or the most healthy relationship? It was like just says a lot about like the philosophical the, you implications know, of Beth is a terrible person yourself. to ask or wonder or think about what's good or bad in a relationship because <laughs> that, as yeah. we know from the episode where her and Jerry go to counseling, they're basically happy being in codependent relationships, which is extremely unhealthy, which means she wouldn't know if it was healthy. Yeah. The fact that she has to ask. Is it healthy or is it completely unhealthy? It means she knows it's completely unhealthy, and yet she likes it, but she's gonna keep doing it because she likes it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she is. Uh, yeah, she clearly is not the model of uh, like uh, emotional maturity, uh, as we see, like you said, in all the relationship bullshit that her and Jerry have gone through. And yeah, uh, fucking Morty and Summer found it out. That was just that was really funny. The way that they like style. It was a good way to do that. Them- realize it yeah that was a good way to do that it was <laughs> uh it was uncomfortable for me to watch it was weirder than watching the it was weirder than the naratu episode <laughs> they brought up yeah they, they mentioned they had a naratu. shout out to naratu yeah <laughs> it was weird it was weirder than that for some reason it was even weirder than um damn what's that episode I don't know. It's the weird. Uh, oh, the the dragon episode where they're dragon bonding. Oh with yeah, yeah, the dragon bonding. Yeah, that was a weird one too. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this one was weird in the nose for sure. <laughs> yeah, when they decide to get like sexual, it gets like yeah, it gets weird. It's always funny, but it's like it's they it's always like going, take it to the weirdest place. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. They're going all the way over the cliff. They don't care if there's nothing at the bottom. They're yeah. going over the cliff. <laughs> Yeah, because at the at the end of it, like the exploration of all these like weird things is always like rooted in like deep sci-fi like 
fanatic fanaticism. Like there's always like you know uh, uh, parts that are like reminiscent to or having a shout out to like some old sci-fi something, and uh, just building on the implications of that in a funny way, which is all just like the great. Which thing one about do you that. think this was relating to? Uh, multiplicity, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> That's not sci-fi, you goofy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's science fiction. It's a science sci-fi comedy, but it's like it's not like realistic. Oh, so Mister, so Doctor Doolittle is a sci-fi now too, huh? <laughs> no, it's not. Come on now. <laughs> it's it's science. It's science fiction. It's involved. He's a professor. Yeah, he... I mean, not just because he's a doctor. Like, oh no, no, like, no. I said Doctor yeah. Doolittle, but I meant Nutty Professor. Nutty Professor. Uh, I guess you could call that a sci-fi comedy. If you gonna call, if boy, if you better stop. If you gonna call that a sci-fi. Then you definitely got to call. You gonna call multiplicity a sci-fi? Then you got to call <laughs> Nutty Professor a sci-fi. Yeah, the man is drinking chemicals and becoming a different human being. That's yeah. as science as it gets. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Actually, no, you're uh, wrong. Both of those things are wrong. Put it in the comments. Let us know, y'all. Let us know <laughs> which one's a sci-fi. Is it really a sci-fi? Nutty Professor, multiplicity. Let us know in the comments. Let us know By in the, the way, comments. Go ahead. Like, bing, and subscribe. Yeah. Or else I'm going to lose my apartment. <laughs> that's that's what the landlord said. He has very weird rules and clauses in the the uh, the rent agreement. So he has to but. see at least a thousand subscribers by December, or I'm going to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also, guys, thanks for all, all the people who have been contributing on Likewise. We got a lot of uh, responses uh, to like a couple Yeah, of my Likewise shit be blowing up, and I'm like, I didn't do anything on Likewise. But I'm like, oh, yeah, Alex is running the Likewise right now. Because <laughs> I set it up, but I didn't rem- I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that you've been on it. I'm like, right. y'all don't know this. Alex don't have social media, really, so he'd yeah. be tearing up Likewise. And they could be on Likewise like it's Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be on there more. Uh, like I, I really do. Uh, but yeah, uh, the shout outs to everybody out there uh, contributing and interacting. And all before the we go on, we got. before oh, yeah, we what go you on, got? what you got? I got to say this because it's at the beginning of the show, mm. and most people ain't watching till the end. <laughs> it's just what it is. It is what it is. Don't feel guilty. Yeah, that's true. We uh, see the dip. <laughs> we see the dip in the analytics. <laughs> yeah, just don't feel guilty. But man, a little off topic. Completely off topic. Mm-hmm. Did you hear the Deadpool news? Deadpool news? No, I did oh, not. Oh, see, I'm glad that I get to say this because I get <laughs> your real reaction, y'all. We get the real okay. reaction now. Y'all watch his face. <laughs> did you hear? What's going on? That they just did a teaser. Oh, really? Hugh Jackman. Oh, oh, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Be? Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Hugh Jackman gonna be Wolverine. Wolverine. So wait, so wait, is this like a teaser for Deadpool three? Yeah. Okay. They oh, got an official release date in September something twenty four. Cool, cool. Twenty twenty four. Hugh that's Jackman. Like... <laughs> you thought that's it awesome. would never happen again. You thought it would never gonna happen again. Yeah. Uh, which is like and just for uh... people who keep up with this show, that means that one day we will see. Tony Stark again. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, I have you know, a there's a there's a weird uh, there is a weird like contractual thing that's going on with all the X Men movies uh, where like until like 2025, uh, if they're gonna have if they're gonna ha- uh, do X Men in a in a movie, that it has to be the actors who are already cast because there's some like contractual thing with them. Um, but well, I mean, yeah, there's like, nothing wrong with that, you know. Just Not- like Disney, probably you know why that probably came out. That was mm. probably like a like a pseudo leak to mm. like let you know, yo, we've already casted. Just like let nerds know, like we've casted. We just can't announce because we don't have contracts signed and you know I's and T's ain't dotted right. and crossed. But yes, this is <clears throat> what this is what we've been waiting on. Right. So shout out to all you there. nerds. Mm. I just gave y'all some nerd news. That you probably <laughs> already had, so it's news you can't use. <laughs> Welcome to my new segment. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome uh, to my new segment of Drug Banthas. You know what? I might have to start a channel where I just post up shit, just say stuff that's 
comic book news and just <laughs> that nobody that everybody already knows that I just late. Like I'm, I'm not late. It's just that this video is gonna come out a couple. Of, I mean, like you know, several hours after we've already recorded yeah. it. So, shout out to y'all. We love it's, y'all. We got more news coming. Nerd, 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 nerd. <laughs> just saying, just saying. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> well, that, was a, that was the segue back into that was nerd, my transition. Nerd, nerd, nerd. nerd. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh yeah, it was a very is a it was a very weird episode and it ended very weird. Uh, with like, cause obviously Jerry finds out very very late. Um, he's je- uh, clearly jealous, but then it just turns into uh the just the most awkward <laughs> uh threesomes I guess that they had uh sex scene. Oh, it uh, wasn't a threesome. I mean, it wasn't a. I guess it was definitely a threesome. It was. <laughs> It's three of them, and they was fucking. <laughs> no, I, we, yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, it's 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 all it was all it's very three bodies. You know, it's <laughs> weird because he's fucking the same bitch twice, but that's you know, yeah, sound like more like they was fucking him. So, <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, there was a lot of things that were. Yeah, there are a lot of things that. And happened. I a lot of people don't probably know what they. we're talking about. A lot of people probably don't understand what we're talking about because. A lot of that was definitely bleeped out on regular television, like on a broadcast level, or if you watched it on the app on the oh, swim. But yeah. we watched it uncensored version on YouTube. So <laughs> shout out to YouTube. I'm getting them YouTube <laughs> uh, ads. I'm adding yeah. it out here in YouTube. YouTube, <laughs> use this as a clip for a commercial. Use it. <laughs> Y'all need to go get the uncensored version because you can hear some really raunchy, nasty stuff on that version. They saying nasty stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it, it gets it gets pretty wild, uh, and you could probably infer like, what they're what what's what's happening, uh, even with the bleeps. Um, uh, yeah, but. I mean, yeah, I'm sure I wouldn't know because I listened to uncensored version. I watched the uncensored version. I don't. I wouldn't know what the bleeps sound <laughs> right. like. I've I've been without bleeps for about six or four episodes now. I don't live like you people. It's, don't live like <laughs> simple people. Uh, yeah, it's it, it was yeah it was a interesting exploration of like the space Beth character and just like her free lifestyle and also how Beth you know she's essentially the same person she still wants the same things but there is that essential difference where you know Beth is still emotionally attached to her family and I guess through whatever maybe just knowing that uh like Rick created the situation specifically for. Space Beth to go off or do her thing. Maybe that's why she's so attached to the the freedom life, and she's also just spent time in space. How do you? In space. How do you? <laughs> how do you go back to normal life after you spend years and years in space? How do you not fuck yourself when you go back <laughs> home when you've been spending all this time in space? <laughs> yeah, um, man. I guess uh, we gotta wait till Christmas episode to see Space Beth. Till next week. Have them fucking again. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Till, <clears throat> till next good, week. No, we already a, did a Christmas episode, didn't we? I don't know if they did a Christmas episode this season. Did they? No, they uh. didn't. They definitely did the Thanksgiving. Yeah, that was yeah. The, so, but my bad. I mean, I did like the 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 line that where Morty said, uh, "We've had like a thousand Thanksgivings. How old are we?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I, you know what was funny to me. Cause me and you literally had just mentioned, like I had just mentioned that to you, like, yeah. yo, how have they ever mentioned how old these motherfuckers are? Like, right. <laughs> this yeah. is so strange. And like, yeah. have they gotten older? Or are they just the same age? Are they gonna do the Bart Simpson, Lisa Simpson thing, and just right? Or are they just keep have everybody 100? the same age? <laughs> but they do go through different times. Like they clearly mm. go through time, like not like it is on the Simpsons. Like, right. Yeah, there is a certain sense of continuity to Rick and Morty that is not present in The Simpsons, obviously. Uh, not so it completely, is... unless they're making fun of yeah. Homer Simpson, which I just yeah, Homer used to be so much more serious. He's just such a buffoon now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he used to be so serious. Uh, that, actually, that's a good a time to uh, to transfer over into the next episode because it's another holiday well, episode. Wait. But oh no! Or what? Do you have any other thoughts on? Do you think that they're gonna? This is gonna be one of those standalone episodes like they normally do, or 
you think it's going to be like one of those episodes where they come back to it, come back to this issue. Because um, they didn't have their mind wipes. They were going to have their mind right. wiped when Jerry turned into his cocoon. We found out that Jerry and Rick actually hang out a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it seems like uh, somewhere in like one of the seasons, you know, uh, when Rick started to warm up to Jerry, it actually turned into a real friendship, which is weird. Um, and I do think that they will bring Space Beth back and they will at least allude to it, uh, like this situation happening. Because like you said, there is – even though people don't age like, <laughs> like uh like every other cartoon, uh there's still like a sense of continuity. Like you said, they brought up Naruto in this episode. So, Naruto. Like they're, they're Naruto. Still gonna, <laughs> so they're still gonna uh bring up old stuff. Like, you know, the fact they have I think Naruto dead will be the one buried in the backyard. I think Naruto will be the one who kills Evil Morty. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> Predictions. You just heard it here first, people. DS I'm giving X you this work. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think. I think it. She meant. Uh, you know, they mentioned that he's in space. And she's like, "Hey, if mm. I see my grandson, I'll tell him." Said hi. And like, boom. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Boom. Yeah, that'd be cool. If, it, it, if if nothing else, it'd be cool to see. Like, maybe we get a, a space Beth episode where uh, she interacts with uh, Naruto. Maybe we get a, a but, family space episode. You know. Oh yeah. There speaking been a, of family. Yeah. Speaking no, no, of family. Uh, no, 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 speaking of family, in episode four, yes. they did <laughs> they they did this weird thing like where they had that car chase and the mm. sleep robots are chasing them. And right. sleep on well, nighttime Jerry was like Jump, jump into the car. <laughs> yeah. And Summer was like why i'm in a perfectly moving operating vehicle <laughs> yeah. and he goes family <laughs> that's a total <laughs> shot at vin diesel that's a yeah. total shot at all of the fucking yeah. fast and, fast and furious, furious movies. movies i just had to say it because i know i'm not gonna remember it i just thought of it right now and i really wanted to say it and i was like yeah that shit was hilarious i can't that's- believe they had so many like different easter eggs yeah. In this, like, truly, they had just a bunch of Easter eggs in this one movie. I mean, this one episode that felt like a movie. Yeah. It felt like a movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it did feel like a movie. Like, it did feel like sort of like a, a mini movie, even from the way that the episode started. And, like, this is also kind of stand, I, I feel like they wanted this standalone because uh, this is the only episode that it doesn't have a pun off of one of the characters' names. It's just called Night People. Um, so I, and it opens in this really eerie uh, depiction of like a T.S. Eliot quote. Um, and yeah, it just like feels very horror. You want me to uh, read it? I really dig it. No, uh, yeah. Do you it. got it? Do you got it? I got. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> it says. <laughs> When you're alone in the middle of the night and you wake in a sweat and a hell of a fright. When you're alone in the middle of the bed and you wake up like someone hit you on the head. You've had a cream of a nightmare dream and you've got the (laughs) hoo-hahs. Let me just say. There's some words that are in there that mean different things today. <laughs> yeah. All like, of that sounds, yeah. You've yeah, had like, a cream of a nightmare dream? That means you came on yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, the <laughs> that last means you busted couple... <laughs> on yourself in your sleep. And then and then he says, and you've got the, the hoo-hahs. hoo-hahs. Yeah. You have the hoo-hahs? Hoo-hahs are titties. <laughs> Where, I yeah, mean, like. It sounds like the it's breasts. Uh, <laughs> it's, it sounds yeah. The last couple of lines sound like it's just like ravings from a really horny Al Pacino. <laughs> like right? Like, what's going on? It's like yo, that was. Just... And then it said T.S. Eliot. Who are? Not... <laughs> that sounded like something that Carl from from uh, Carl from um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force would say. Like oh yeah. <laughs> You've had a cream of a dream. <laughs> <Hoo-ah>! 
What's up, Bray, man? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that'll already put you in a weird uh, mood Eerie starting space. this episode. Very curious and then space. Beth counts sheep on her phone on an app, trying to make herself go to sleep because Jerry's snoring too much, or she just can't sleep in general. But mm-hmm. uh, my whole thing is, how are you supposed to go to sleep swiping on something that's got a light shining in your face? Yeah, it seems if you're very out there right too. now, if you out there right now, you, hey, you, <laughs> if you're out there right now doing that shit, punch yourself in the face and go to sleep. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess a concussion is a good way of any to, to go to you sleep. You might as well, because you're not going to sleep swiping on a phone. <laughs> also, if you have a concussion, do not go to sleep. That's very bad for you. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> Unless uh, you're yes. already there. I mean, you know, yeah, don't go to sleep with a concussion. <laughs> if you wake up from a concussion, don't go to sleep. <laughs> um, there is... It's the health podcast. <laughs> yeah. Two podcasts in a row. We've been talking about... OBGYN stuff, yeah. one episode, and then now this episode we're talking about yeah. concussions, like we Will Smith. Yeah, uh, yeah. Next Do week, concussions. next week we were talking about CTE. Uh, <laughs> uh, but no, like I, I did. Uh, it was interesting how like you know, this has obviously had like elements of like '80s action films, uh, but also a th- clear parallels to us. Um, yeah, definitely touched on us a lot. Yeah. Um, definitely, but it made more sense 80s. than us. <laughs> Sorry, doesn't make more sense than us. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love what you did there. Oh, I kill myself <laughs> if you don't subscribe and like. If you don't. <laughs> if I don't have any subscribers or any likes on this, if I don't have more than twenty thousand likes on here, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> All right, Jerry Smith. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh man I don't think I could take it so yeah <laughs> Rick decides to create a night person for himself and right. it's all to basically be extremely productive while being lazy at the same time yeah he gets these rock hard come cutting abs <laughs> and <laughs> I couldn't I tried to keep going um, I couldn't say it with a straight face these rock hard come cutting abs and then <laughs> He convi- they're so glistening and cut. Rick, I mean, Morty decides he's going to join in the fun. And right. Rick is like, no, nah, fuck that. And Summer's like, what? I want to join in. And he's like, no, nah, it's too advanced for y'all. Can't do this. And Summer ignores him. And he's like, mm. fuck it. All right, look, y'all can do it. But I'm warning you, just this is advanced technology, so you got to be careful. So everybody picks something really stupid to do. Well, kind of productive, right. but you know, also trivial and dumb. Like, have abs, fucking learn Spanish to pass a test. Yeah, so I don't have to learn it. Yeah, they can't be saving more than like a couple of hours doing the things that they're <laughs> they're, right. they're having their and night people do. Jerry though, Jerry spends the worst amount of time. He fucking sits there and writes himself. He writes letters to himself for pretend, and pretend mails them to himself. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that, that is just that's the, a pimp that belt. is quintessential Jerry. Like if Jerry could do anything with his spare time, he'd do laundry <laughs> and write to himself. Those are the yeah. things that Jerry would do. I love Jerry. Shout out to uh, Chris Parnell. Also, <laughs> we need to watch all of the Archers and then cover that because you know that's on right now. Shout out to Archer. That's our favorite. That's like. That's like our favorite, actual favorite animated show to watch, and we have not covered it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of them, definitely one of my favorite adult cartoons ever. Um, What's your favorite adult cartoon? How is that not your favorite? You, you uh, just don't want to be pigeonholed, but that's got to be your you favorite. Wa- well, if you want to know, you can check out my top 10 adult cartoons video right here on the Drunk Panthers channel. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I do feel like... Uh, uh, like this is yeah, it's a really really fun episode. Again, it makes more sense than us, but it all, all has clear parallels to that. Um, what did you think of like uh, like Summer being like the the leader of the night family? The leader of the night people. Well, I thought it was funny. It was easy to see coming because well, her job was washing the dishes. 
<laughs> so that's what she was like, hey, look, I'm the one washing the dishes. Why can't we just scrape off the dishes? Right. I mean, her yeah. hands was bleeding. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like, God damn, how many dishes did y'all, like, create? <laughs> I like how they went with that. I've never seen us, so mm. full disclosure to the peoples. i never mm. seen us, so I didn't catch any of those references. Mm. But, um, you know, I like the whole premise behind them, you know, basically – making slaves out of themselves out of a whole like self like different subconscious and there's Mm -hmm. some other adam scott movie that i guess it relates to the same thing like they have the same right yeah that shows severance i haven't seen that either i've heard that that's really really good man Um, but my guy adam scott man shout out to you adam scott you left me a really dope tip one time i I left you i i brought you a pepperoni pizza when you were moving into your uh your new house in Silver Lake. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. I forgot about that. Shout out to you, sir. <laughs> Shout out to you, Mister, moving into your house and giving out a good tip from the pizza guy, man. <laughs> Shout out to Adam Scott, friend of the pod. Um, but yeah, like I, I um, uh, oh excuse me, just had a little burp. Uh, night I'm never family. Gonna forgive you. <laughs> uh, th- it is interesting how like this uh, season has seemed more family oriented. Like though it is you know still Rick and Morty. It's all about uh, it's all about family. It's all about family. We're a family. <laughs> uh, we do this think... together, or we fail. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I ever tried to do a Vin Diesel. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's weird how like they they've definitely focused. It, I, have you missed like the the just like the solo like the more just like duo episodes of Rick and Morty, or do, are you enjoying just like having the whole family in on every episode? Well, I think. Well, let me just tell you two part answer, hmm. one part question, two parts. <laughs> uh, I think that yes. I am enjoying it, mm-hmm. but I think it, I'm enjoying it because I think I have a theory. It feels like to me that they okay. challenged themselves in the writing room and said, we're not going to bring back the portal gun. We're not going to bring back the, the portal gun. Oh, the portal gun. Oh. It's almost like a, yeah. like a homework assignment. Like, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, like if you were, a, like if you were a rapper, mm-hmm. Oh, you are a rapper, so you will understand this. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're a rapper, and I told you make a whole rap with don't and don't say and, but, or, and, and don't rhyme any words with, uh, money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't use any words that could rhyme with money. Like, don't right. use any words that could rhyme with this, or don't say these words or only use these words like right yeah yeah it's, like I, they feel like they've tried to pigeon them pigeonhole themselves down mm-hmm. to challenge themselves to write something better yeah so that they don't have to constantly like use the portal gun as a clutch as a as a crutch excuse me right to like be able to just tell a story without using ability to just plop over like using it to get them out of basically every situation that they end up getting into right yeah, it it does kind of be it does kind of uh, end up being like a like as a fix all in a lot of the episodes and like and even before they decided <laughs> to get rid of the the portal gun, there were a lot of times where they'd have to like you know contrive a situation why they couldn't use it or whatever, uh, uh, just like to make you know rem- build some sort of challenges. Uh, right. So I, and I think I do, it's definitely creating more creativity. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, like you said, it's, it's having them. Was forcing them to look in other directions because I've heard other people who don't really like the show who critique it f- for it's like oh well they just like always go to another dimension and meet like different versions of themselves like that seems like that's every episode uh, I was like I mean fair enough that does happen a lot <laughs> and that kind of happened in this episode too um, but like oh, it does it? still force them I mean like it's like they're they're still fighting themselves but just like the themselves in a different way hey, but it does force people them also to be complain that people also complain that justin plays every voice on the show so yeah you can't please nobody man yeah you can't please, please everybody the, all just the time. please the hundreds of millions of people who watch the show 
Yeah, there's. I mean, no, I guess it's probably gonna... only like I, everybody knows about Rick and Morty, but most mm-hmm. people don't watch Rick and Morty. And I, I, I don't know what the ratings numbers are, but probably mm-hmm. man, I would really like to see like a, a, a poll done of like people who, how many people watch Rick and Morty because it's like right. a cultural phenomenon. Like it, it really oh, yeah. is. You see people with the tattoos. It is everything that Invader Zim could have been if it was in if it came out in this time that we that we're in. Right. You know, Rick and Morty came out in this streaming like right at the beginning of streaming era. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like right at the beginning. So it can just it can go so many places that mm. television couldn't go before because of the situations with around the world, you know, everybody ain't got Wi Fi. Everybody ain't got, right? You know, HBO Max, mm. <laughs> cable, and for that matter, yeah. And you know, and that's the way it is that way in the United States. Believe it or not, people. <clears throat> so it's really crazy how much how huge it's become in a very short period of time. I mean, I know it's been six years now, or six seasons, like right, ten years now. Yeah, but still. We were we were watching the first season. We were like, felt like we were the only people watching it, and now mm-hmm. everybody's watching it, and we're doing a podcast yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's crazy, like how like the the meteoric rise of of this show. It's 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 gotten crazy think- popular, crazy fast. I mentioned this in my top ten adult cartoons uh, video. You guys, you guys, should check that out. Uh, but kind of yeah, like consider it's... this a commercial for that. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, basically, you... I've basically kind of tipped my hat to that video <laughs> twice. You know what I'm saying? I basically, like, basically right. did like a good teaser segues. In fact, if you're watching this on the YouTube mobile app, you can find the tag for it right here. I'm gonna try to remember to. Do that. Do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, like what? One thing I wanted to ask you about before we get out of here, like the fight scene where, uh, <laughs> where like the the night people are fighting the uh, awake the day people. Yeah, and I'm watching. They're right knocking now. each other out. Like they're they're knocking each other out, but like waking each other up. Like what? What did well, you? What did you think of that whole fight? Before that, like, before I say that. Oh yeah. I feel like that chase scene was really like Die Hard with a Vengeance. Am I wrong? Uh, I didn't see. I felt uh, like Die Hard with, Die a, Hard with a Vengeance slash Fast and the Furious because like it switched in. It felt like when they were going through like people's yards and shit, it felt very right. Die Hard with a Vengeance. And then when they went into the like bit like summer flying into the empty boxes, like why are there empty right. cardboard boxes here? Just <laughs> yeah. just just a big bi- pile of. Empty car bo- cardboard boxes. <laughs> that kind of shit happens in the Fast yeah. and the Furious. And you're like, yeah, I just drive by the road all the time. And there's empty cardboard boxes. <laughs> but then the fight yeah. scene. I love the fight scene. It was hilarious. Why, why, what do you mean? What was I supposed to? Was there something significant, significant about it that I missed? <laughs> no, I just, no, I just thought it was like a creative way of doing the fight of just like. That shit was You, you slap, slapping people awake and then knocking people I was, out. I got lost <laughs> two times. What would you think about uh, Beth choking uh Night Beth choking Day Jerry and him getting a fucking boner. <laughs> yeah, that was that was really funny. <laughs> and he just kind of has this awkward smile. He's like, sorry. He's like, hey. I swear to God, I was like, he probably getting, he probably liked that. And then, boop. He, I was like, oh, he gave him a, they gave him a boner. They drew him a boner. I wonder uh, if they blurred that out on regular TV. Yeah, I'm curious. If you guys watch, I watch the TV. uncensored <laughs> version, go and watch regular TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I this like did feel subscribe. like <laughs> this did feel a lot like a like a treehouse of horror episode. It's like almost the close the closest they could get to it because it almost felt like I mean it almost ended like uh, with the night people winning because uh, Rick and Morty. I mean because Rick just didn't want to do. The I mean technically they won, but they they killed themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh man, life is hard. <laughs> life. This is what these people do all day. No. I want to go back to the night. <laughs> back to the night. Uh, but guys, uh, is there anything else you want to say about uh, these last two episodes or the season so far before we? No, I'll just say it? thank you for listening to this far. You guys are fucking awesome, especially people who listen this long. Jesus mm. Christ, I fucking love you. I will touch <laughs> your body if you let me. If just co- consensually, 
you know, because I love you. I put my hands on you. I put my hands on can't, you. I can't wait to cover that. I can't wait to do. Oh man, it's almost those. Christmas time. I'm trying to tell you, I'm not watching it till December though. So fuck y'all. But um, <laughs> I just want to say but, thank you for subscribing. Yeah. Thank you everybody for all the comments. Please leave more comments. Follow us on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, I post stuff on there, and <laughs> sometimes it's funny, and sometimes it is just there um so if you <laughs> like us if you love me subscribe right now and you know make sure i don't kill myself if you don't subscribe i will kill myself <laughs> uh yeah like guys uh, we appreciate all that uh love he's not kidding so you guys you guys gotta you guys gotta i'm not kidding i really do love y'all <laughs> Uh, guys, thank you for listening to the Drunk Panthers Podcast. We try to do this every once in a while, so go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe so you can get updates on new videos. Check us out on Twitter, IG, TikTok, likewise, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all the internet things at the Drunk Panthers. Until next time, stay safe, my little night people, and may the force be with you.